Hello everyone, my name is Karoli Pirke and I'll present our work on deep learning based perimeter mapping for joint relaxation and diffusion tensor and more fingerprinting. MRF offers fast and simultaneous quantification of multiple tissue perimeters and recently proposed diffusion rated MRF schemes successfully extended the initial concept to the estimation of the mean diffusivity. We go one step further and propose an MRF scheme which encodes orientational diffusion information to jointly reconstruct quantitative maps of T1, T2 in the full diffusion tensor. We paired this highly accelerated acquisition with a CNN-based regression. That is, we learn the nonlinear relationship between the diffusion-sensitized MRF signals and the underlying tissue perimeters, as conventional dictionary matching is intractable in such higher parametric spaces. In the next slides, I'll introduce our sequence design, the deep learning approach to present the results that we obtain for healthy subjects and multiple sclerosis patients. Our sequence design builds on the 2D FISP MRF scheme, which we sensitize to diffusion as we insert monopolar diffusion encoding gradients along all three axes before the spiral readout, similar to diffusion weighted SSFP techniques. And to encode the full diffusion tensor, we acquire 30 diffusion directions along the signal train. As you see here, each diffusion encoding direction is acquired 34 times in a row. We rely on an initial inversion pulse, which is followed by a flip angle and TR train as shown here. We applied a sliding window algorithm to jointly reconstruct the consecutive images that were acquired with the same diffusion encoding. As you see here, the image series is highly impacted by artifacts due to non-Gaussian noise, coherent in and incoherent motion, stimulated and spurious echoes, and most of the time a combination of them. To recover the nonlinear relationship between the MRF image series and the quantitative relaxation and diffusion tensor maps, we propose a CNN model to solve this multi-parameter inference task. With the unit architecture, we take advantage of all information available, namely the temporal and spatial relationships to characterize the individual signal contribution. Moreover, with the deep learning based model, we can make use of the implicit physical relationships between the scholar and tensorial perimeters to reconstruct the underlying relaxation and orientational diffusion information. To train our model, we created a database with pairs of MRF image series and the corresponding reference maps, which we obtained from state-of-the-art quantitative MRI. As you can see here for a representative test set, the CNN-based framework produces relaxation and diffusion tensor maps that are largely consistent with established reference protocols. With standard DTI analysis, it is then possible to derive scholar diffusion measures and to estimate the principal diffusion direction. Again, the image quality of the scholar diffusion measures is comparable to the EPI DTI reference. The colored FA maps with the primary eigenvectors show that the principal diffusion direction and thus the characteristic fiber structure in white matter is captured. Quantitative evaluations substantiate these qualitative findings. Overall, we reliable recovered diffusion and relaxation information also in regions of diagnostic importance, such as MS lesions, indicating generalization capability of our method. Also, Rubin's great error and structural similarity index indicate that off-diagonal diffusion tensor information is more difficult to reconstruct in general and in white matter and MS lesions in particular. In this proof of concept of fast multi-parameter quantification, we approach the underlying MRF sequence design and the deep learning based perimeter inference as a joint task. In this way, we can relax the MR acquisition requirements and bypass expensive dictionary matching. Despite its high tolerance of image artifacts, severe head motion turned out to be the major challenge for our framework. We expect that adjustments in the sequence design, specifically in the way we incorporate diffusion encoding, will increase the robustness to even severe motion in first place. We also believe that we can certainly benefit from more advanced deep learning approaches to improve on our baseline. Thank you for your attention.